house has been an inspirational place for many artists. Everybody from Mabel Dodge Lujan, Carl Jung was there, D.H. Lawrence, and um, of course the Tau Seven, who has inspired a lot of, the, of what is what we considered Western art. And that has been the landscape. Beyond anything, I think it's, a, it's in the environment. Coming over the edge of the Rio Grande, going into the Horseshoe Curve, and you, you see that Taos Mountain, and it's staring at you, and you see the grandeur of the, of the gorge. It's a landscape. I am the medicine man, conjure up Black Maria from Siam. For seeing, teasing, because I can. And I razzle dazzle ghost, stargazing through the outermost. I gave a fiery tempest toast. Still, I can manage your love for me. I consider New Mexico just another country. I don't, I don't really consider it part of the United States because we have been influenced by so much since the, in, from the early 1500s all the way into the 1600s. It's the, the Camino Real, the Rio Grande, is like the Mississippi River of the, of the Southwest. I mean, influences from, from North Africa, the Moors to Spain to the conquistadors. And then, of course, you know, just the, the, the traditional people that have lived here from time immemorial, they predicted that this would be a collaborative place, a place of, of, of energy, a place where people would be moving energy. And that has always been in our stories, in our traditional stories, that this would be a place of inspiration, and it's about the land. You go to the land and it'll inspire you. It'll never lie to you. Mexico is, is an amazing place to, to hear and listen to what is original, what is traditional, what is inspiring, as well as what is considered to be the evolution of, of the new sound of, of um, Native America. A lot of musicians here coming out in New Mexico are at the forefront of a, of a very contemporary style and if we can keep it original and keep it really, really strongly rooted in the things that we grew up with instead of competing with what is mainstream, we can create what is unique and powerful that mainstream can follow. I'm really defined by the men and the women of, of my community who are passing on. And even though we're, we're really forging on to an amazing, amazing opportunities and possibilities in our lives, there's so many things that, have lost, that, that we've lost and that will never come back again. When I do win or when I do accept some award, it's for them first, it's for the, for the gods and the goddesses, it's for the rain clouds, it's for the, for the beauty of the sacred seeds. And I really don't want to seem to sound too new agey, but this is who I am. It's ultimately who I am. 